La Congo has separated with Baba Jacob Zuma. She is a single parent right now. She went to Sarisha Naidu's house. She was weeping. She was in tears. She was just pouring her heart out saying that she never anticipated all of this. She fell in love, you know, and she can no longer express her feelings because the moment she says anything, it will be all over in the newspapers, all publications, social media. Everyone would want to know about her. So right now she feels that she can come out. But you know what? She doesn't even say the word Jacob Zuma. He addresses him as baby daddy. So polygamy is missing her. So it looks like it's tough. Hey, It's tough getting married to Jacob Zuma, old as he is. And how many wives does Jacob Zuma have five, six, I don't know. Anyway, there's tension between La Conco and Annie. If you remember, Annie, Annie is that colored girl or colored woman or lady that is married to Holo or Hosi, Holo or Hosi somewhere there. Um, they got married last year. They had a big white wedding. Nobody was invited from the cast of the Real Housewife of Durban. So, like Conco and Annie, they had a catch-up session where they ironed out and they poured each other's feelings. They put them down on the table. So now they get along, you know. Now they they like best buddies. They see eye to eye. Sarisha and I do also felt that La Conco was going through the most before La Conco went to her house and explained her feelings to her. She felt that La Conco is like two sided and she cannot admit that she and Jacob Zuma are no longer together. So she felt that she needs to deal with things internally before she can explain them to other people externally for them to, to, to make sense out of it, you know. So Lindy Landon um, is a new cast member of the Real Housewives of Durban. Lindy Landon is an Instagram influencer. She has an online boutique store. She has huge hips. That's her words. Um, she has big curves. That's what I saw. She has a tiny waist. She's just a yummy mummy. Um, Jojo Robinson, she's a stay-at-home mom. She's a lady with tattoos. We haven't seen much of her personality yet. So Nonku Williams had a picnic lunch. She invited all the ladies so that she can try and make up for that stunt that she pulled on season one finale confronting um confronting um Ayanda Nwani um together with her parents saying that they want Ayanda to pay damages or to pay Lobola for Unotile who is Fisos Nwani's other child. So Nongu did a picnic lunch. She was fashionably late and her mom made a boring statement wearing this ugly dress saying that Unongu has bought her a car and she, she's been addressed as the queen. Like, who cares? Who's Nongu Williams' mother? Who cares? Like, I mean... So, anyway... That's it from The Real Housewives of Durban, Season 2, Episode 1. Till I see you again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.